Bible Smack. All right, today on Bible Smack, I'm responding to um, the amazing atheist, and he's basically asking people, um, "Do you really believe this blanket blank?" Um, basically, this this one to me is kind of funny because um, the arguments that he's giving are really not good arguments at all. Uh, they're very stupid and they're for people who basically go through life without having any um, interaction, you know, they don't want to go to the library or <laughs> they, they just don't want to, you know, be messed with. Uh, they want to do drugs and have their fun and then uh, go home and that's it. And then they say, well, you know, these evil people who read a book. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to believe in reading, and so, you know, you're reading a book, and that just makes you so stupid, and, you know, let me just cuss at you a couple minutes, and obviously, now that I'm just really just being verbally abusive, that proves that what I'm saying is obviously true, and you're obviously an idiot, and so, you know, do you, you want to fight fire with fire? Do you want to, like, answer intellectually and, and this is the thing I mean it's kind of like you know your crack-headed cousin who just totally doesn't live to any type of morality they're so selfish they ruin their lives they they just get totally messed up and all they do is when you try to confront them they just point the finger point the finger point the finger well, do, who are you to judge me yada 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 I, if you were you know so I mean how do you respond uh, to something like this especially what do they do they, they start off with the finger they say well I mean it's just so horrible to be a Christian if you're a Christian you're eating your children you know I mean they just come up with just lie after lie and then they say well you're just come up with lie after lie you're just, you know it's kind of the copycat game basically you know it's like well you're acting immature but you're acting immature yeah you know um you know I don't I don't know if I can like respond to this guy and actually have him listen that's kind of like the um, impossible journey <laughs> it's like trying to like are they actually even going to listen is there any point you know the Bible talks about Jesus says don't put, throw pearls before swine you know this it, it doesn't matter what you tell them and many times I end up with people where I know the outcome I know that no matter what I say to them okay it it really doesn't matter okay if I prove the resurrection if I prove that the Bible's been transmitted properly if I prove that the Bible prophecies have come true if I prove that science agrees with the Bible uh, if I give them peer-reviewed evidence at the end of the day they're gonna say what well, you are stupid you know and then they'll just check off which uh, which con they want to throw at me next which lie which lie you know how do you get him confused and move off the subject you know I mean if they don't want the truth and they're they're not gonna really deal with you and it says um, my answer would be is it's like you were if you were mentally healthy uh, you would believe this stuff if you were mentally healthy um, you know the the assumption is that I must be crazy and I am crazy because you think I believe X, Y, and Z, or you say that I believe X, Y, and Z, no matter if I do. Okay? I am crazy because you made up a lie. Okay? That's, that's, that's the premise. Okay? Um, I would say that the atheistic worldview does damage to a person mentally over time. Now, you know, let me qualify this to people who can actually think, okay? Um, when I say that, there are things that are much more damaging, okay? If a person was an atheist, they never did drugs, they never did alcohol, okay? They weren't, um, you know, 
freaky, you know, <laughs> or something like that. Uh, basically, you know, they, they led a pretty straight life, and they just happen to have an atheistic worldview. And then someone has a Christian worldview, and they uh, smoke crack and marijuana and smoking and drinking uh, all forms of vodka, heavy set alcohol, and all that kind of stuff. And they were as you know as sexually immoral as they come. Obviously, that guy would not be as well off as a healthy, moral atheist, okay? Um, but, basically, there's just some damage that gets done. Um, the human being is body, soul, and spirit, okay? With your flesh, you have not only your physical body, but the sensation and the brain, okay? Okay? With your soul, you have, um, you know, usually people say the mind, the will, and the emotions. And sometimes the, those words can kind of dip over in other categories, but generally uh, you have that will, okay? And there's what your will wants, and then sometimes there's what your body wants, depending. Sometimes they all want the same thing, that's what you want, you want to get it. But also you have the immaterial self, and that is the spirit, that life, okay? Um... You know, the Bible uses imagery of uh, life, breath, uh, the blood. Uh, that's the spirit, okay? And so when you've disconnected your spirit, and your spirit naturally disconnects without what we call being born again, okay? Your spirit is not functioning properly. And the reason why man's spirit does not function properly is because of that story, Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Okay? And I know he's going to say, You think there was a talking snake? And you think there are talking apes. And they do. They, they said they're like, Oh, we have to do sign language. And once the ape learned how to do sign language, then it, we, we asked it what he wanted, and it said food. <laughs> um... You know, and they'll say, well, what What if I went to the moon on a dragon? There's a little magical dragon. I mean, it's so stupid. I mean, even though there are people out now with this evolutionary construct of mythology that say, oh, there was a magical UFO and it took me and abducted me and played with me. You know, it's, I mean, it, it, it's still this weird stuff, you know. But basically, the, the problem is there's a disconnect with the spirit. And over time, that disconnect gets worse. You know, when we kind of look at the, you know, new atheists, uh, we, we see a lot of this. I mean, why is it that this guy has no ability, all right? He's, he's really almost mentally incapable of telling my side of the story, okay? When he says, in the beginning, all right? What does the Bible say? It says, in the beginning, God. Now, he starts off, he says, well, there was nothing, and then there was God. That's not what it says. It says, in the beginning, there was God. God is everywhere, okay? And God is infinite. And before there were things, there was God. That was it. God was all-powerful and created things lesser than himself. Okay? Now, that's what we understand. We understand it from understanding the scriptures. But he says, oh, well, that's so stupid because you believe in God and nothing. And what do you believe in? Nothing. There was nothing. And then nothing created everything. And it created the laws of science. And the, he was very specific. And it made sure that there was these exact laws of science. Because nothing was thinking about it. And it wanted to make sure that the rules stayed the rules. Yeah, so, you know, um, how do you explain that? You know, some of them will say, well, there was nothing, and they were saying, the aliens, <laughs> you know. Or then they'll say, um, it was a mama and a daddy universe. <sighs> yeah, so we, we get that kind of talk and stuff like that, and that, that's supposed to Im impress us somehow. It's supposed to sound like it's an intellectual um, it doesn't matter what we say. He said, well, I mean, just assuming that...
you're an idiot and there's nothing that you say that's believable and that everything is going against you why is it that assuming that everything is going against you censoring everything you've seen year after year after year after year okay even though you've seen mountains of evidence against everything I'm saying you have to play a stupid little game and you have to imagine that you're a little weakling and oh we're so powerful and you know why do you believe this blankety blankety blank and it's like we don't because that's your blankety blankety blank you're the one pulling on the con job you're not fooling anybody. I think that's the scariest thing is they're not relevant. They're not fooling anybody. They're not right. They're not smart. And, you know, and that's in their mind. They, they want to be the smartest. They want to be the best. You know, and they, they don't want to, like, they don't want to deal with sin, but they don't want to categorize sin. You know, they want to. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I mean, that's you being judgmental, okay? And I can call you an F word. I can call you this and that and that and that and that and that because you're judgmental. No. Okay. I mean, nobody's falling for this stuff. What is it? It's probably communist propaganda, okay? I mean, let, let, let's be honest with it. The, the whole point is, is they want to intimidate you. They want to bully you. They want to scare you. They want to threaten you so that you don't deal with the truth. So that you don't search the stuff out for yourself. So you don't measure what they say. They don't want you to measure what they say. They want you to be a slave to the government and the government to give them all this funding, okay, so they can pull this con job on you. And we say, oh, well, how could you live with the mythology? You know, how could they live with Piltdown Man? How could they live with Heichel's drawings? All right. How could they live with junk DNA? Lie after lie after lie after lie that they have forced down your grandparents' throats, your parents' throats, your throats, your kids' throats. Okay. Lie after lie after lie to take your money, honey. Okay? That's what they're doing. They are hustling you. He wants to sit there and talk about charlatans, okay? The guy's making money, okay? He's making money off of his YouTube channel. I can tell he's got good numbers. So he's making money to tell you all this stuff. He doesn't give you peer-reviewed evidence. Yeah, you know, he'll sit there and run his mouth all day long. You're not going to see it. Why? Because he's there for the hustle. He's there to warp your mind. But the thing is that if he were consistent with what he believes, he wants to sit there and talk about us like, oh, well, you are a Christian proof of the service. No, I'm not Old Testament Israel. Well, I read the book, and you're lying about the book. I'm sorry that you're a liar. I, you know, what am I supposed to do? Okay? But if he was consistent... Then he would go ahead and go with Marxism. And if he didn't like that, then he wouldn't complain about capitalism. Because atheist came up with the robber baron capitalism. Okay, the worst of the worst of capitalism is done by those ancient atheists who would take over and rob and plunder and mistreat their employees. Okay, that's where it came from. Now... We stem the tide of capitalism by having capitalism plus a Judeo-Christian society that will pad all those abuses. And then if those guys get saved, then maybe they won't be so abusive. But instead, what is the communist answer? The communist answer is for these big business guys to partner with the government to create a tyranny. Okay, that's what this whole point is, is that they want to create a tyranny. And so he has to get you to have a stupid worldview so that you will be his stupid sheep and follow him wherever he may go. He wants to talk about hustlers, okay? And we talk about hustle when you are a hustler. So he goes out there and he hustles. And if not, what is he saying? He wants to talk about life after death and how it's so stupid for a cousin. Now... Could this be something psychological in him? 
Could this be that he's not ready to deal with death because his worldview doesn't help for death? You know, I, I was thinking about this. Like, even if I had an atheistic worldview, what would be wrong with people thinking that their loved ones are in a special place in heaven? If that's what gets them through life, why not? Okay, because there's a lot of people who are consistent, and what do they do? They become drug addicts. And then, if they get done with that, they kill themselves. All right? Time after time after time again. Okay? Used to be we'd say there are no atheists in the foxholes. Well, now we have a paganized military. Our military has a ton of New Age pagans within them. And what happens? Well, you know, we've included the gay movement. 2010, uh, over 10,000 uh, American soldiers complained of being uh, sexually harassed or raped by these gay soldiers. Okay? And so we have this rampant sexual harassment, not to mention what's happened to the women, but we have this rampant sexual harassment, and then we also have all this suicide, okay? And they're complaining about all the soldiers killing themselves, and we got to worry about soldiers killing themselves. Why? Because we put the atheists in the foxhole. What's the point? When things are bad, what's the point? That story is never positive, okay? Uh, a fun little tale that you know we used to watch. Uh, we've all watched the cartoon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, okay? And we watched the movie, you know, and you saw that one, The Secret of the Ooze, all right? And you have an evolutionary background story. And in this story, the turtles find out that they were part of a science experiment that failed, not one that they thought that there was a guided purpose, but actually it was a failure. And did they react in glee and joy? No. They reacted in hate. Why? Because there's no hope in the humanist worldview. The only thing you can do is say, well, I'm an atheist who thinks that I'm mad at God, but maybe if there is a God, maybe he'll save me or whatever. But, you know, other than that, I'm just here and I'm just going to get to use this worldview to break all the rules right now and escape all responsibility. Now, I've met one out of a thousand, you know, atheists who have a more responsible worldview. They do tend to be people who took in that Christian discipline, that Christian worldview, or at least the Christian discipline part. But what you say, you say that's wrong. You say that's an opiate of the masses. Then what you got? Well, you got Hitler. All right. Why? Because your ideas are coming from Nietzsche. And who patterned themselves from a Nietzsche philosophy? Who revered Nietzsche more than anybody else? Hitler did. Okay. So once again, there we go with that. You know, you want to make fun of us, you want to make fun of like the flood, you know, um, 80%, I've heard uh, even higher, six, 90% of the earth is covered in water. And so, well, it would be so weird to think that the water covered the other 10%, you know. Um, really? You know, uh, there's about 30 oceans worth of water in the dirt, the, uh, the part of the dirt called Wadsalite. It is uh, 30 oceans worth, okay? That usually <laughs> covers over the earth and water. But, you know, oh, no, everything you say is so weird, okay, because you are like me, and I am a monkey. You know, I, and I found one geneticist who argued, oh, maybe we're not monkeys, maybe we're pigs. <laughs> or, you know, well, we all really came from a rock. And then, you know, we can style it up a little bit, you know, um... What was it? What's our boy's name? Um, I was talking about him in the last episode. Uh, the science guy, Bill Nye. He was like, yeah, we're from Martian DNA. You know, that somehow, since, the, uh, since it did evolve here on Earth, maybe it evolved on Mars, and then it flew over here, and it's bacterial comet, you know, and then it blew up, and the bacteria was perfectly in place and populated the Earth. Um... You know, or maybe we're like near the Neil deGrasse Tyson says we're we're stardust. All right, so yeah, um, and these are just so believable. Um, 
but it doesn't really it, it really doesn't matter you know how intellectual I can get with this one because what does it ultimately amount to it matters that like their mind is warped that's why these guys are getting so mad about all this kind of stuff so they're getting so angry you know because there's something that's a little off in their ticker okay their mind doesn't have the ability to connect with their spirit and, you know, when we talk about God, uh, there was a neurological study recently that found that belief in God is a higher brain function, okay? It takes more, not less, to understand belief in God. And so when they say, I have no ability, no ability to believe in God, then it doesn't really look good for their IQ. See you later on Bible Smack.